Hello, YouTube. My name is Inventure Man, and recently, after a visit to the doctor's office, I found myself wondering about the invention of the stethoscope. The stethoscope may be the one instrument common to all doctors. The word stethoscope comes from the Greek words stethos, meaning chest, and scopium, meaning to explore. No other symbol so strongly identifies a doctor than a stethoscope dangling around the neck. In this video, I would like to share with you just how this invention came into creation. It was September of 1816 on a cool morning while walking in a courtyard in Paris, Dr. René Blanek, a 35-year-old French physician, observed two children sending signals to each other using a long piece of solid wood and a pin. With an ear to one end, the child received an amplified sound of the pin scratching the opposite end of the wood. Later that year, Dr. Rene was called to a young woman with general symptoms of a diseased heart. He was reluctant to place his ear on the patient's chest because of the age, sex, and plumpness of the patient. In this moment of embarrassment, Dr. Rene recalled his observation of the children's wood-borne signaling. It was this observation that inspired his invention of the stethoscope. He describes the invention as follows. I recall the well-known acoustic phenomenon. If you place your ear against one end of a wood beam, the scratch of a pin at the other end is distinctly audible. It occurred to me that this physical property might serve a useful purpose in the case I was dealing with. I then tightly rolled a sheet of paper, at end of which I placed over the chest and my ear to the other. I was surprised and elated to be able to hear the beating of her heart with far greater clearness than I had ever with direct application of my own ear. I immediately saw that this became an indispensable method for studying. Not only the beating of the heart, but all movements able of producing sound in the chest cavity. If you are enjoying the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment what you'd like for us to talk about next. Dr. Rene discovered that heart sounds could be heard more clearly and loudly using this method rather than previous methods. He then spent the next three years testing various types of materials to make tubes perfecting his design and listening to the chest findings of patients with pneumonia. After careful experimenting, Dr. Rene decided upon a hollow tube of wood, which was the forerunner of the modern stethoscope. His instrument was fitted with a plug when used to listen to the heart and to make it portable, which made in parts that could be disassembled. Dr. Rene's wooden tube was the first true stethoscope. Wooden stethoscopes were used until the later half of the 19th century when rubber tubing was developed. Dr. Rene was a master of clinical diagnosis and use of his invention, the stethoscope, perfected the art of physical examination of the chest. Dr. Rene's distinguished career and invention of the stethoscope contributed great advances to the study and diagnosis of chest diseases. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, like, and leave a comment what you'd like for us to talk about next.